Hello, welcome to STEAM Storytime at Home. I am Miss Christina with the Wallingford Public Library and our theme this month is birds in winter in Connecticut or Connecticut birds in winter. Whichever one, whichever one suits you. All right, so some birds fly south for the winter like geese, um, but not all birds do. Some stay right up here. And how do they do it? How do they keep warm? It's not like they have central heating, right? In a grocery store that they can just go into. So how do they survive? Our book is all about winter birds. And this is a nonfiction book by Ruth Daly and John Willis. Finding food. It is winter. The days are short. It is cold outside. There is not much food. It says here in one place in Alaska, the sun does not rise for 60 days each winter. That's way, way up on the North Shore. Plants do not grow. Birds are hungry. They work hard to find food and water. Birds look for food together. They find berries and seeds to eat. A blue jay may hide about 3,000 acorn, acorns each year to save for winter. Birds have special feathers called down. These are soft and fluffy. Down keeps birds warm. Winter nights are cold. Birds roost close together. They roost in evergreens and inside bushes. People can put up bird boxes. Birds shelter here from the wind. As many as 12 birds may share a bird box to keep warm. People also hang bird feeders from trees. They fill them with seeds. That's another way we can help birds in winter. Birds eat from bird feeders and people often watch them eating in their backyards. Birds do not sing as much in winter. It is too much work. They wait for spring to start, but some birds do sing in winter to chase away other birds. And then they've got a craft in here on how to do, make a bird feeder. So that was our book. Let's get into our activities, okay? The first one in your kit is called Feed the Birds. Now this one, you're going to have um, a sugar cone, a pipe cleaner, um, but from home you'll need like some sort of nut butter, peanut butter, almond butter, if that's really how you want to spend your almond butter, um, any kind of nut butter. You could do sunflower seed butter. Um, you could do even do like Crisco. So any of those are fine. Or if you happen to have like suet, use some suet. Um, and the kit will also, you'll need that from home, but the kit will also include some bird seed just to get you started. Now on your kit or on, on your, um, your sugar cone, you're gonna want to take off the top, um, so just like a little bit, enough, nope, not enough, enough so that, mm, a knife might be the better thing to use here. Okay, there we go. It's able to take off the tip so you can see right through it. With your pipe cleaner, on one end, make like a kind of a big knot or so that's going to like catch and thread the not knotted end in through here and then do like that and get, kind of give it a tug to make sure Oop, it fell through. So you want to make it even bigger. again. All right, there we go. I think that's pretty stuff. Now 
with your nut butter, vegetable shortening, whatever it is that you have, go ahead and use like a knife or a spatula to put it all along the outside of your sugar cone. And then once that's fully coated, put the bird seed, I mean, you could put it onto a plate, but you could probably even just stick this into the bird seed um, so it gets heavily coated. And then you take this covered in the nut butter, Crisco, suet, and the bird seed, and then you can hang it up and twist it onto like a branch outside your house. And if you can get it where you can see it from one of your windows when you're on the inside of your house, even better. So that's activity one, feed the birds. Bonus points if you sing feed the birds whilst doing it. The second activity is a scavenger hunt. So now you've got your bird feeder out there. Now you can do this either from your home if you can see your bird feeder or if you happen to go out for like a little walk or a little hike or stroll outside to get some fresh air. Take along this handy dandy bird scavenger hunt sheet. Um, it lists some of the most common birds that you might see in Connecticut in winter um, with their names and then pictures of them. And for two of them, I managed to get a picture of the male and the female. Like, so there's the cardinal. The bright red one is the male and the not as flashy one is the female. And then also on the goldfinch, again, the bright yellow one is the male and the one that's less flashy is the female. Um, so you can use this to identify, see which birds you can identify. And if you happen to see some that aren't on this sheet, you know, make some notes about what it looked like. Um, the Cornell, what is it? The Cornell Lab of Ornithology, which is the study of birds, has this really useful bird app um, called Merlin Bird Identifier. It's free to download. Um, for iPhones, I believe it's also for Androids, um, but you can put in the information about the bird that you see and it helps you to identify what it is, which is really super cool. It's free to use, very useful, a lot of fun. Um, and then the third activity is called a warm home. Now for this one, um, every kit is gonna get um, a box of Jello. And for this, you're trying to figure out how does a bird keep warm in the winter. So you're going to not feed it jello, but you are going to prepare the jello directions according to the box. You're going to divide the jello into two bags. Now one bag is going to be your control, and then the other one is the one you're going to do your experiment with. Now for the experiment one, you're going to uh, put the bag you know, find some like natural insulation, so like leaves, sticks, anything like that. Um, you can put it like into a bush, you can put it under leaves, in a, in a tree, someplace uh, where a bird might roost, okay? So you put that one, your test bag, with all that natural insulation into that um, place, and then your um, control bag that also has the jello liquid in it, this is all, while it's liquid, don't let it harden. Um, you put your control bag like in the outside too, kind of in the same environment, but without the insulation um, nearby where you've put the test bag. And then you wanna check back uh, every 45 minutes, 60 minutes um, to see if the control bag, has it hardened into jello yet? Um, and then once it has, go and check your well, you check both bags. Um, and as long as, like once the control bag is, once it hardens, because it's gonna harden because it's outside in the cold, um, go and check your test bag and see if it is still liquid or if it also hardened. Uh, if it is still liquid, that means that you created a warm home um, like what a bird might use. And if it's, if it happened to harden, you know what, that's okay. You know, now you get to think about like, why did it harden? Like, why wasn't it quite warm enough? Um, so you get to kind of troubleshoot that and see if you have more jello, you can try it again. Um, you might be able to try it with ice cubes too. Um, 
because you can only do this so many times with Jello. Am I right? All right. So I hope you have a ton of fun with this activity, with all these activities. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.